Hey everybody, we wanted to do a quick review today of a new generator we got, the uh, Harbor Freight Predator 3500. We've seen a lot of reviews online and uh, we're needing a generator for the RV. Um, so this is a uh, 3500 watt inverter generator. It, um, has 3,500 starting watts. It runs about 3,000 uh, watts after it's um, running. Really nice and quiet. So we're going to go over a few things with it and uh, hook it up to the RV and uh, show you it running uh, all the uh, stuff on there. So okay. So a couple things with this unit here um, that we'll talk about is. It can be paralleled with another unit, um, another 3500 or a comparable unit. Uh, I think there's a list out there that'll tell you which one it's compatible with. But it comes with a uh, 30 amp uh, twist lock, um, and they actually supply the RV uh, adapter for it, which is really nice. And that twists in. It has your standard outlets. Um, it's got a uh, LCD display that'll show you your hours ran, your uh, output, uh, and your amps and everything. So it's pretty cool. And then it does have an eco uh, mode on there. So if you're not really running anything too heavy, you can put it in eco mode and it'll, it'll uh, conserve fuel and run a little bit on a, a lower setting. It comes with an electric start. The battery is inside a little compartment here. You do have to hook it up when you first get it, but it's just a couple of wires. So, just in the little compartment there. Um, you can lock the wheel so it doesn't roll around if you uh, are setting it down on a hill or something like that and you just need it to stay still. Oil fill on the side. Uh, one thing I will note is it does not come with oil in it when you buy it. So you will need to actually put oil in it before you crank it up. Um, but it's pretty e easy to get to. It's a 10 millimeter uh, bolt in there and the oil fill is right there. Uh, and they actually supply the funnel um, that'll reach in there to put your oil in. I think it was about a quart of oil and uh, it was good to go. Another thing is they do recommend, it actually says uh, that it'll avoid your warranty if you don't, they do recommend running it with your fuel with a, a fuel stabilizer in it all the time, whether you are running or storing it or, or running it all the time. So um, we got the stable, mixed it in with the fuel and filled up the gas tank. A couple of things that I found very surprising and, and uh, that I really like about it is how easy it is to start. So again, it has electric start and a pull start. So I'm gonna start it here with an electric start. You flip it down to the start thing. That's all it is to it. It's super easy. In the event that it does, you know, that fails, you do have the pull cord here. You move it down to start, pull it. Now you can see it, it's like very, very quiet. I don't have a decimal meter, but I did some of the other videos that I've been in about 57 decimals uh, from a reasonable distance. We're inside of a garage and I mean, it is like very, very quiet. All right, so we got the unit filled up with gas and just wanted to demonstrate it running, you know, air conditioners and the other electrical uh, components in the RV. Uh, again, it's, we have one air conditioner unit um, and so that's the biggest draw that it would that would have and that's the primary reason we bought it is obviously just to run mainly the air conditioner for when we're traveling if we have to park um, we have our golden retriever copper um, that we would leave in the RV when we're inside uh, during travel days or whatever and, and uh, we want to have something that can run the air conditioning unit while he's in there and then obviously when we're boondocking um, having a, a way to run the air conditioner so, so get it started up Quiet. 
get a little further away from it, you can barely even hear it running. Alright, so we're going to crank on the air conditioner. And you'll hear it, at least we can hear it kind of uh, idle up a little bit. But um, it fires it up just fine, and everything is running on it. Okay. So um, we also, I guess there's always been some speculation whether you can run the air conditioner or microwave and all that together. Um, at least with this unit, you can. Um, so we'll all right. turn it on. So microwave is running, air conditioner is running. Ooh, it feels good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, pretty sure you do the coffee pot, but I haven't <laughs> tried that yet. Uh, and then we just have some small appliances, little small fans and all that. And again, we'll step out. This is the unit I love with uh, the air conditioner and the microwave running at the same time. So it's uh, a little bit louder, but still, I mean, uh, a lot quieter than I thought it would be. In my opinion, uh, we spent, um, oh, there went the microwave cutting down. So, <laughs> so again, it's back, at, that's where the air conditioner is running now. Um, anyway, so I believe at Harbor Freight, they are about $850. Um, they do run some promotions on them. Uh, we've seen them, a, <laughs> seen them a, little bit, a little bit cheaper here and there, but when we went to buy it, it was $850. Uh, they do have a promotion where if you sign up for like a Harbor Freight credit card, um, it's 14 months, same as cash, or like 10% off. Um, I was actually able to get both um, by talking with a manager. So I did the promotional and I um, got them a 10 percent off. So it worked out to be a pretty good deal. So my opinion is definitely a good buy.